Hey, how you doing? My name's Owen. I'm the technical support engineer and the training coordinator for ActiSense. Welcome to our NMEA 2000 networking series. This is episode one, where I'll be discussing who the NMEA are and what NMEA 2000 is. Now, NMEA, it stands for National Marine Electronics Association. They're a not-for-profit organization and they're based out in the USA. Their mission is to improve data communications between marine electronics manufacturers. So what is NMEA 2000? Well, it's the latest standard from the NMEA that helps them achieve this mission. It's an open standard, which means it's available at a reasonable cost. Open doesn't mean free. You can buy the standard, if you like, from NMEA.org. It's based on a system known as CAN, which stands for Controller Area Network. The reason why the NMEA went for a system like CAN rather than a system like Ethernet, which has a much wider bandwidth and can support, support things like radar and video, is because CAN can guarantee message delivery. So if you have an important message on the bus, such as GPS information, you can guarantee that message will get to its destination even if the network is 100% loaded. The hardware for NMEA 2000 is based on the device net standard. This is the cabling, the connectors, and the T pieces that you can see, that you can physically hold in your hand. It was already in use by the uh, agricultural and automotive industries before the NMEA decided to adopt it for NMEA 2000. So they already knew it was a very robust system and can withstand the marine industry. There is a certification process in place for, for NMEA 2000 devices. So if you want your device to go onto an NMEA 2000 network, it must be NMEA 2000 certified, easy for you to say. Um, look out for things like CAN bus approved or NMEA 2000 compatible. It means that device is unlikely to have gone through uh, the NMEA's certification process. That's it for episode one. Join me in episode two, where I'll be talking about the minimum network requirements and the network limitations for NMEA 2000. Please like and share this video around. We'd really like to spread the word around social media. Um, if There will be a PDF eventually accompanying this document. I haven't finished writing that yet, but uh, if, you, if you're interested in gaining access to it when it's finished, either click the download link below or the link above if you're on Facebook. It will be below if you're on YouTube, but it's, um, you can sign up to receive that download link via um, our mailing list. I'll see you in episode two. Thanks for tuning in.